What's up, YouTube? It's ICU, and today we have some awesome iOS 13 jailbreak news to discuss. I'm actually going to be using the Checkmate exploit and deploying it here on this iPhone 10, running iOS 13.1.2 and enabling verbose boot. Now, if you guys have missed all of the recent Checkmate exploit news, definitely check down below in the description or in your cards right now. I will have a link to our latest coverage on it, and essentially this does build on that. We're going to be using that exploit exploit to again inner verbose boot. It's a jailbreak of sorts, but not one that we're typically used to. In essence, again, yes, it is a jailbreak in the sense that you do have full and complete control over your device with this exploit, but nothing else has been built on top of that just yet, at least not that is publicly available as of recording this video. So we don't have things like Cydia, we don't have any of the jailbreak patches required or anything necessary to run tweaks on our jailbroken device. Now, if you guys wanna be notified the very second a jailbreak jailbreak built with Checkmate is released, definitely bookmark our iOS 13 jailbreak status checker page linked down below in the description and in your cards right now. The very second you go to that page, it'll either have a no or a yes. If it has a yes, there will be download links posted there available for the iOS 13 jailbreak. Now, with that said, again, what we're going to be doing today is just entering verbose boot on this iPhone 10. It shows that progress has been made and it's a throwback to the days of old when we had Lime Rain and verbose boot. That was really the last time we could enable verbose boot because Checkmate is a boot ROM based exploit. It does allow for full and complete control over the boot chain. So this is something that's absolutely incredible. It just shows what can be done. And it's a small, small, very small glimpse as to what's coming in the future. Remember, this is only compatible on the iPhone 10 and lower. Now, earlier Axiom X tweeted out the following quote update. You can now verbose boot your own iPhone 10 on iOS 13.1.1 or 13.1.2, hashtag checkmate. My jailbreak will not make any permanent changes to your device, so it's 100% safe to try. Download the latest iPhone DFU, enter DFU mode, and run the following command. So we're going to be doing that in today's video. Remember guys, this is not a full-fledged jailbreak. I just really, really wanna reiterate that, but it is definitely the building blocks, and what I'm going to show you guys today does in fact prove that. Again, if you guys wanna be notified the very second something is out, bookmark that status checker and be sure to subscribe if you have yet to. We're going to be releasing full and complete updates every single step of the way. All right, so with that said, quickly, I wanted to show you guys that this iPhone 10 is in fact running iOS 13.1.2 inside of settings general about. You can see there for the software version 13.1.2. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and hop on over to the GitHub for iPhone DFU. Keep in mind too that this does only work on Mac or Linux. It does not work on Windows yet. So once you have arrived to this page, which will be linked down below in the description, I want you guys to click this green button right here where it says clone or download, and then click on download zip. That'll place a folder because it will automatically extract it to your downloads called iPhone DFU dash master. Once you guys do have that, you're going to open up terminal. Now I have this terminal window here, but quickly I also wanted to take a look at this readme file because it does say, if you'll notice here for dependencies, that if you have a Linux computer, you will need to install libusb. Also, this does not work on a virtual machine. So if you do have Windows and you don't have access to a Mac or a Linux computer, again, this will not work for you. Now I already have libusb installed on my Mac, so I'm unsure whether or not that affects things or actually improves the success rate of this. If you do have a Mac, you might wanna try installing it as well. I will include steps down below in the description for that. Essentially, you just install Brew first and then you can install libusb. I also have the latest version of Python 3 installed. I'll include a link for that as well. Again, I'm not sure whether or not that improves the success rate because I already do have it installed and I haven't tested it on a machine that doesn't have it installed. So with all of that said, we're going to continue. Okay, now we're almost ready to enter DFU mode on our device, but first it does need to be recognized by our computer inside of iTunes. Apple has made changes inside of iOS 13, so if you haven't connected your device to your computer in a while, be sure to do so. Open iTunes, make sure that it recognizes your device, and install any updates that are available. Okay, now we're going to enter DFU mode. It's a little complicated on the iPhone 8 and up. Since this is an iPhone 10, the process is the same. So what we need to do is actually press the 
volume up button over on the left hand side, release it, press the volume down button, release it, hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. You need to hold it through the slide to power off screen. Then once it's black, let go. And then you're going to hold down, volume down and side button once more for five seconds. Then you need to release the side button and keep holding the volume down button the entire time basically until your device is recognized by your computer. So it sounds complicated, let's go through it. So volume up, volume down, hold the side button. So the first step's pretty easy. We just need to wait for this to go off. So we need to wait for the screen to go black, let go, then start holding one, two, three, four, five. Let go of the side button, keep holding volume down. I was counting fast because I was also talking, but that was five seconds and then your computer should recognize it. And you can see that iTunes does pop up saying that it has detected an iPhone in recovery mode and that you must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. But even though it says that we are in fact inside of DFU mode, the telltale sign is the black screen. So if your device stays with a black screen but it is recognized inside of iTunes, that means you're inside of DFU mode, which is where we need to be. It's a little bit tricky, but you guys are gonna become masters at it. It is actually needed every single time you go through and run this exploit. So once the jailbreak drops, you're going to have to become accustomed to entering DFU mode. So we can go ahead and click OK to that message inside of iTunes. And I do actually apologize, but I did have to connect directly to my computer via USB. I forgot that we can't have an intermediary device such as a dock to actually run this exploit. So that's out of the question. It has to be connected just directly via USB. So I'm going to basically just do this with one hand now. So first up, we do need to change directories to that iPhone DFU master directory. So to do that, the command is just CD space and we're going to drag the folder that you guys downloaded from GitHub inside of terminal. It's a really awesome trick to auto complete directories. So when we release, you can see that it fills that out right there. It fills out the file path for the iPhone DFU master directory. We can go ahead and hit enter return and now we can run commands from within inside this directory. So we can go ahead and run the following command period and then uh, backslash or forward slash. I always forget which one it is, but that will be down below in the description. The full command will be there. Um, iPhone DFU space dash P space dash dash boot. And once we do this, we should just have to hit enter or return and it should go through it. So device is already pwned in DFU mode. Um, it's saying that it's booting right now. So we have an Apple logo. That's the first step. And there we go, guys. How absolutely awesome is that? We are booting inside a verbose boot right here on this iPhone 10. I can't even believe it. It is fully pwned thanks to the Checkmate exploit and we just ran through verbose boot on it, guys. So fantastic stuff. This is the very first step. The hard part is out of the way now. We do have an exploit for life that can't be patched by Apple. Only good things to come. Be sure to subscribe if you have yet to. Stay tuned for more awesome coverage like this. And uh, until next time, this is ICU signing out. And just stick around if you're new to the world of jailbreaking because we're going to play a portion of one of our recent Top Tweaks videos. These are things that you can install and do with your device once it is jailbroken. So here is a small sample of what you can expect once something like this drops for iOS 13. So first up, I don't know if you guys can see this, but up in the top right hand corner, I actually have my battery percentage right there instead of the battery icon. Now this is achieved entirely free with the tweak called battery percent X, but in this video, I'm actually using a paid tweak called Bazzy. And that tweak also adds this green indicator right at the top of my phone, also displaying my battery's percentage around the notch. All right, so for number two, this one is one of my favorites with Face ID devices. This one's called Fast Unlock X. So I'm gonna have to demo this with some B-roll, but basically when you have your device locked and you either tap to wake it or use the side button, whatever way, when you have Face ID enabled, when it normally recognizes your face, you'll have to swipe up from the bottom of the lock screen. But with this tweak enabled in contrast, when your face is recognized with Face ID, the phone will automatically take you to the home screen. No need to swipe. So it's just a quicker way to get into your phone without actually having to swipe up. You just look down at your phone and you're basically taken to the home screen. Now, while we're on the home screen and talking about this, one of my favorite tweaks is actually called Jumper. And it replaces these toggles at the bottom to whatever you want. It even allows you to set multiple icons down there 
at the bottom so you guys can have multiple shortcuts enabled if you guys want on both sides. So not only do I have my flashlight and camera, but I also have access to multiple of my applications. And it's just as easy as selecting the toggle and choosing what you wanna go into. So that one is called Jumper. Well, like I said, we're starting out simple. I can't forget about this tweak. This one is called bar emoji. If you guys can see right down here at the bottom bar, I actually have my frequently used emojis right there. And I also have translucent messages going on with my messages app, but we'll get into those other tweaks later in this video. Anyway, the one at the bottom that I wanted to show you guys for the iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, and 10R specifically is called bar emoji. All right, and when you have tweaks like bar emoji and things like that installed, one thing you're going to have to do is hide the home bar indicator. And that is done entirely by this tweak called hide bar X. As you guys can see, the home indicator right here is just absent. It's entirely gone. And so you either love or you hate it. I personally hate it and it's just a waste of space. So I got rid of that home bar right there. Another option that you guys can do is install Chroma home bar, which basically cycles through a bunch of colors. So if you guys wanna have the home bar enabled, at least have it colorful and eye pleasing. 